I think what's interesting about the space program and the space station is that sometimes you have these developments that uh, you might not have even predicted. A lot of what we do in life uh, uh, has in some ways been impacted by the space program. The twin study in particular, anytime you have a first of its kind, uh, and a first of its kind that would be very, very hard to replicate, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be intriguing, I think, to, to all medical scientists. And in this particular case, um, the, the questions that they're trying to answer are big questions. Um, if we start to get to a situation on our planet where we need to seriously think about colonizing other planets, this is the sort of study we're going to look back on and say, well, here's why it is possible, but here's what we need to do to make sure that it's as safe uh, for everybody as possible. We're all going to sort of need to understand what life is like in a place like the International Space Station. How will our bodies change? Uh, will they change in negative ways, but also maybe positive ways? Uh, this is, there's no place literally on Earth where you can do that kind of work. I'd love to go to space. I think like a lot of kids, uh, I've dreamed about it since I was, you know, very young. And I think what's great about it for me right now still is that um, I don't even know what I would learn. I, I don't even know what I don't know. There aren't many things left that are so, so unique, so different, uh, so rare. Um, yeah, I, I, sign me up. It's thought that there are 10 times more bacteria in our gut than there are cells in our entire body. There's like three pounds of this bacteria in our gut the size of our brain.